Okay, we got double white, Villa Kimba, Matlakov. Did you Queen's Gambit accept it? No. The Slav. Should I hit him with another G3? Sure, why not? He actually knows theory here? That's a bit disappointing. Alright, yeah, I thought 96 had to be the move. Isn't this still good for me though? What am I missing? Oh, the Chasaya. Yeah, that's not me. That was tall. Rook A4. Just wanna push the pawn. Go push the four. E4 as well. Why did I go bishop f4? Maybe I should have just gone bishop. Gone e4 immediately. If you can set up with a6 and so on, then it's very solid. So I'm thinking of a position like e3, a6, g4 maybe. I think it's just two solids. I think I gotta, I gotta go for it. Go e5, and I just go e3. Now at least I have some. Strategic, strategic goals. B6. Yeah, that's reasonable, but it's really risky. that entirely. I'm really lucky that I have this. Really lucky as a matter of fact. And I'm actually better. Actually considerably better after making a pretty basic wonder. So this won't be easy to win, but I do have I do have an extra pawn. Just a waiting move more than anything else. This is specifically what I was waiting for, and then go F4. Okay, so give a check. And G6. I'm not sure this really does anything. Bishop c2, takes king b6, rook c6, king f7, no, have to trade rook done.
still have reason to win each other, so. Huge threat here. Yeah, but now I got my key final. Okay, bishop d6, I would just go h5, killing his knight. And if bishop c5, I would just go h6. Oh boy.